All right, so we're live here. We're going to be looking at Brutal Doom. It is a mod for Doom uh, 1, Doom 2, Ultimate Doom, any of the Dooms you can think of. Uh, it'll add some content to that, uh, namely in the sense of over-the-top violence, new guns, uh, some other stuff. I'm kind of learning, seeing what's in it myself. Uh, unfortunately, it's kind of hard to play co-op with this right now. Uh, unless you're on a LAN, <clears throat> um, which I am not, but I figured it's worth showing off, uh, you know, if you, if you do want to play some co-op, I'm sure the chaos is, uh, even better with multiple folks. So we're going to jump in, we're going to go with the, uh, the new modern class, which, uh, I believe in unlocks some new guns and some other abilities, and we're just going to play through the uh, first episode will go hurt me plenty just so we can kind of work through this and there's the familiar doom one music uh, I do have mouse controls enabled I'm using GL doom uh, to give us this uh, nice looking thing it's actually running a little choppy that's all right. I think maybe it has to do with the streaming. Um, so it's been a while since it's been over. There's some secrets here somewhere. Let's get to the gore. So guys give quite well blood splatters on the walls and sticks. Um, I'm actually running this at 2560 by 1440. Looks pretty, pretty good. Here's a bullet shell that's hitting the floor. So let's see, this comes in. There's like a certain way to run over this, isn't it? Let's see. Oh, it's been so long. We're doing this, going down the halls, trying to find all the secret doors. Oh, the good times we had with Doom. It's over here's the switch, right? Or is it at the top of the steps? God, it's it's got to be at least ten years to play this. Although I did play the Xbox Live. Ah, oh, one third. Alright, this is Blaster. Let's get to some brutalness. A brutal doom. Oh, the secrets. The armor. He did! Nice little glow effects on the lights and some stuff. Yeah, it's pretty good stuff. Still one of the all-time great uh, soundtracks in gaming. Holds up really well. I heard uh, if you checked out the Doom 4, uh, presentation from E3 from Bethesda, you can hear subtleties in the music they were using of this uh, classic guitar riffs. I mean, is it, I mean, ugh, listen, I could sit here and just listen to the music. So good. So much core. Oh. So, the other thing they added, which we actually did see in that um, Bethesda little demo uh, of Doom was like finishing moves, and this game has, this mod has finishing moves as well, um, which is pretty interesting. Let's see what our shoddy does. Oh! 
Oh, look at that. That's brutal. I love it. Hence, brutal doom. I really hope the new Doom can capture the, the, the same feeling of this. It's just kind of just run around and you just absolutely just destroying everything in your path. It's about speed as much as it is, uh, you know, just the brutality. We don't like uh, some of the newer Doom, Doom Three, especially. You know, it was it was a slow trod and uh, it was more about the fear and those kind of elements. And really, I mean. It, it was never really scary. I mean, that, maybe that was kind of what they were going for, but you never, you never were afraid. There was tense moments. There was fear through that. Oh, look at that. oh god. Oh. It just drips everywhere. The chainsaw. Oh, I wonder what they do with the chainsaw with Brutal Doom. Uh, can I shoot that switch? I forget. No. So yeah, to, to, to get this to work, I'm, I'm actually playing on the Steam version of Ultimate Doom. I just picked it up on the Steam sale. I sadly didn't have it, though I know I have multiple copies of Doom around here and CD and everything else. Uh, but to get it to work, uh, you just download, uh, I think it's called ZX Doom. Um, and all you do is basically swap the executable for the Steam version, and then uh, you are able to... Oh, that's cool. Let's see if I can tweak up this graphics here. Uh... Play options. There's a lot. You can see this added a ton of options here. Uh, the things you can do. Uh, here we go. Video mode. Uh, something real. What are we gonna do? All right, let's just keep moving. I'm just blasting through the levels, not really going for all the secrets and stuff. I figured I'd get through the uh, first campaign pretty easily. If I can remember everything. I do like this little assault rifle that they added. Pretty cool. So yeah, it's kind of interesting because Doom did a lot of the stuff like this where they put an item you've never seen before or rarely had access to in a spot and you, you wanted to figure out how to get there, where that is. Something you don't really see too much in games nowadays. The secrets are just kind of, they're more in your face almost or, or behind like an invisible wall. Where really in this it's, it's a tease first. Kind of interesting to see that progression. Oh boy. Gory, gory. That room is messy. Also, you got this where the monsters still fight each other because they don't like each other. Oh, look at that. Love it. Love it. Thought there 
towards the pump. Fireball has got a nice glow effect on it too. I feel like the thing collapses at some point and there's some sort of secret based on that too. Remember some of the secrets but oh boy. Brutal. Oh, look at you leave bloody footprints. That's a nice little touch. Uh, there's something in here. Card hunt. Monster closets. That's where it got its name from because they were literally monsters in a closet. the beginning. I seem to think it's through the through the stuff here. I forget. Oh. Risky risky. Is there a switch there? No. Nice smoke effects too they added. The doors close and give the guys. Well, wow. oh, you can shoot the lights out. That's pretty neat. I think we need some shotgun action going on here. Oh, piggies. I guess I got him. The bloody footprints are a nice little touch. Whoa. Guess we're going radioactive. Thank <laughs> you. 
give the guys apart pretty easily. All right, where do I need that suit for? This way? Oh, that's a lot more satisfying than I remember. Monster closet! Oh, boy. Brutal. Hence, the name of the mod. So the mod's free. Uh, you can download it from moddb.com. That's where I snagged it from. Uh, you know, give a classic game a little more life. I'm certainly enjoying I revisit Tigger and Old Doom. Uh, where do I want to go? I don't remember what that does. So what I got? Did I, did I do the blue door yet? Yeah, and you can keep shooting the guys after they're dead. Stinky! Invisible Pinky? No. Just limp. With a death wish. I have time to reload. Bad time to be an Oh my god. That's just brutal. <laughs> We need to. I'm just trying to blast through it, so. <laughs> Woe is me. No secrets. I want to pick up the. Berserk, because I believe that's where we get our nice little fatalities. Oh, God. I remember the enemy sprites look pretty decent until they get right up in your face, and you can see the, all the filter effects to scale them and how they look, but... Um... Not complaining. Back to our little machine gun thing here. Oh, there's headshots. That's nice. That's time to reload. Oh, 
what if there's a button for finishing off the look? Back. Brutal. All right, let's see real quick. Options, controls, and play options. Oh wow, there's a lot of stuff here you can do. Wall running? Oh my, look, so look at all this stuff. Okay, let's, let's take a look at this. Find shores, textures, like, uh, use buggy or stair building, find name right light. Use original sound targets. Watch your scene as players. I can't see some of the stuff because my camera's hiding it, but HUD options. Scale across here and for default cross. Oh, heck. Interesting. Use old. <laughs> what else we got here? Auto save. <laughs> Hey, I did QD. I wonder if that still works. Uh, there's different skims. Male, female. Auto aim. Uh, controls. All right, here we go. Let's see. Uh, Fly. It tells us anything about finishing move. There's jump. We'll go uh, F. There's never jump and doom. Or crouch, but we'll do that too. And, uh. Huh. Maybe it's... Oh, look at that. Iron Sights. Former co-optimus editor Jim McLaughlin would be very happy with that. That's kind of surreal to be playing Doom like that. Huh. Oh, I remember this room. I remember this. First death. And we get to do it all over again. Alright, hold on one second here. Let's enjoy some of the the music. Thank <laughs> you. 
back in the day when F6 and F7 were your friends. For quick saving, quick load. Games have a leap now, I don't think- Oh, I blew his leg off! Look at that! That's great. Bravo to the Brutal Doom folks, they, uh, they really nailed a few of these little things here. Love it. Love it. Uh, I hear a pinky somewhere. Chain gun? Chain gun. Gooey. Gooey, gooey. That hurt quite a bit. Building's the thing now, too. Alright, we're gonna show these blocks these blocks this time.
Flooding effects are pretty cool. able to see their eyes like that. to get through this whole thing. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, then you can blow their arms off and they just keep coming. This is where you needed that radioactive suit for. We're gonna stop there because we're gonna be streaming some Ark Survival soon, so be sure to check that out uh, if you're watching live. If not, we will uh, have that uploaded to our YouTube channel along with this. We are co-optimists on both.